but your hands are going to be right on your thighs, right? You're going to sit up nice and tall, grow nice and tall through your head. Take an inhale breath, and on the exhale, you're just going to curl your navel to your spine, and then inhale like this. So we'll just go four like this. Start with that nice breath. Inhale will be our growing taller breath. Exhale to a small pelvic tilt. Here we are on a, on a Sunday that's going to be like 92 degrees out. Exhale. Inhale. Good. One more like this nice gentle movement. And, and lift. Okay. I'm going to take my your right hand. You're going to reach it up and you're going to grab onto your left ear and just take a big stretch. I'm going to start you guys off nice and slow and then keep on building and keep on building. And then up, right, reach up. I'm going to grab the opposite ear. Nice little stretch. Good. And your neck, your sternum, like an osteoid. Nice big stretch. Good. Hands are going to interlace behind your head. I'm going to support your head, and you're going to look up. I'm just going to take a moment to let oh, Susan in. Good. I don't know what happened to her. Good. We lost her for a second there. Good. And then you're going to stretch back. Right. I'm just giving you some neck stretches here. Right, and then on the exhale, your neck just comes down. I'm not doing anything with my torso. And I'm looking up, up, up. Pull your shoulder blades back and take your chin and put it up a little higher. On the exhale, you're going to draw down. Good. And I'm going to pull back, back, back. Again, just the first couple movements here, just neck stretches. Exhale down. One more like that. Good. And I'm going to pull up. Look up just a little bit more. I've got this nice open look here. And then neutral, right? So your, your neck is going to push forward, your chin is going to jet forward, and then you're just going to press your chin back into your hand. It's a really small movement here. I'm just going to show you a small. And I'm going to pull my, my chin and neck back a little bit. It's going heavy in the hand. One more like this. It's a little chin knot, and then I pull it in, okay? So I'm in this nice position here. Walking out, out, out. Nice support on my back here. My head is supported. Taking my lower back and mid back are supported. Take an inhale breath. And exhale, blow out that candle. Come right into this little crunch. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale. Now we're getting some working, right? Inhale, lengthen. Exhale. Good. Three more like this. Inhale, we lengthen. Exhale, you come in. Two more. I'm feeling it. Now I'm starting to feel a little heat here. Exhale. Inhale. My ribs pop. Exhale. They come in. Now keeping my ribs drawn down and my, and my ribs and my hips knitted together, hands are going to reach in front and I'm just going to reach my, my hand towards my, my shin and reach. Right. It's reaching towards my knee. I've just got this small little oblique action here. We'll go eight and seven. Six, I'm feeling the burn. Five, four, three, two, one. Sitting up nice and tall, right in the front of the ball. Flex your feet and take a little spine stretch forward. Little gorilla toes. And then you're stacking right back up. So notice how I'm sitting towards the front of the ball. Shoulders are neutral. Take an inhale on the exhale. Reaching forward to those gorilla toes. Getting a nice stretch through my spine. Stacking right back up. One more like this. Inhale. Exhale, pressing forward. If you need to stay high, you just stay high. If you can reach forward, that's fantastic. And then up. Okay, so now let's do this shoulder placement movement, right? So inhale, pull your shoulder blades forward. On the exhale, you're going to pull your shoulder blades into retraction. Inhale, pulling them forward. Exhale, a lot of energy behind my, my, rhomb, my, my rhomboids, behind my scapula blade. Good. Two more. And Exhale, pull back. I'm just getting that scapula to glide back. One more like this. Pull forward, pull back, neutral. Arms are going to reach out to the side, right? And I'm just going to do three little pulses to my right. One, two, three. Inhale, center. It goes one, two, three, and center. I'm trying to keep my knees and my hips facing to you guys as I do this rotation through my spine. Got exhale, one, two, three, and center. One more time. Exhale. One, two, three, and this will be the last one of that side. One, two, three, and down. Okay, now I'm going to go to the front of this ball here, and we're going to go onto our knees and get into that plank shape on your knees. Okay? Okay, so elbow, elbow, right? 
Now, notice the angle of my hips, right? I'm, I have flexion in my hips. I tuck my tailbone under, squeeze my glutes, and I get rid of that flexion. Pushing down into the ball, I'm going to press out. And then glide it in, right? Exhale, pressing out, squeeze it, pulling my navel to my spine, and in. So I'm just giving you some nice neutral spine work here. Exhale, out, and in. Two more. Good. Exhale, press out. You're holding, navel is drawn in, shoulders are dropping down, really pressing into that ball. Last one here. And then you can stay for this eight count. I'm going to take it up to the next level, which is totally optional. And I'm going to hold it at this new level or on my knees. Please hold on to your knees if it's too much. Eight. Seven. And when I'm up here, I'm definitely giving my butt a little squeeze. Six. Five. Four. Three. Whoo. Two. One. Drop it down. Press it back into our child's pose, right? Stretching back. Maybe you're sitting back on your knees. Maybe you're just opening up your shoulders a little bit there. Three, two, and one. And then I'm going to come right up. Good. Take an inhale. On the exhale, I'm pushing my butt back, opening up my shoulders. It's a nice thoracic stretch there. And then around and tuck under. Good. Two more like this. In. Exhale. I scoop. Walk out and reach. Oh, opening up that shoulder girdle. And then up, taking this ball in my hands here. Got a nice little open posture. And then pressing back, back, back. I have a really tight left quad and it's feeling a big stretch here. And then you might be feeling it more in your hip flexors. Two more. Two. Don't sit back onto your heels. Keep your hips open as a hip opener. Good. One more like this. Pressing back, back, back. Breathe into that stretch. And bring it down. Okay, so then I'm going to go on to our back. We're going to do those little pelvic tilts with your feet on the ball. Okay, so right like this. Yeah, I think you guys can still see me. I think so. Good. Hands down by your sides. Drop your shoulders down away from your ears. Press your palms of your hands into the mat. Okay, take an inhale. Now think of that cup of coffee on your belly button. Exhale, you just tuck your tailbone under. Inhale, lengthen. So just like one of the first moves we did on top of the ball, I'm doing a pelvic tilt, right? Exhale, tucking my tailbone under, pressing my lower back in, my, lift, my hips are lifting just a little bit. Okay, so that's the start of it. Inhale, exhale, I start with that pelvic tilt. Start to squeeze your butt and we lift, because I know this is really aggressive on your hamstrings. I want your butt to initiate the work and then your hamstrings. And then lower down, 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 massaging your back until it reaches to neutral. Good, take an inhale. Exhale, you tuck your tailbone under, press into your heels. I'm wobbling a little bit, so I'm trying to steady that. Good, I lift it up a little bit higher. Exhale, lower down. Be really gentle and slow, right? This is an articulation. And then lengthen your tailbone down. Take an inhale. Exhale, pelvic scoop and tilt. Good, lift up, lift up, lift up. Oh, I got a little bit higher. Really pressing down on my hands. And now, we're going to go one more like that, and then we're going to get a little aggressive here with our hamstrings. Good. Take an inhale. Exhale to that pelvic scoop. I know it's hard on this ball. You really have to turn on your obliques and organize. Okay? So now, keeping my hips up, I press out. And then it's, ah, hamstring curl in. Two. We'll go eight of these. If you need to drop your butt, that's what you do. You just drop your butt. Three. Pull in. Four, pull in, five, pull in, six, we're going to make it together. My hamstrings are fired up like crazy. Seven, pull in, eight, pull in, hold it there, melt down, melt down, melt down. Okay, I'm going to lengthen up my legs now so I can let my hamstrings kind of get a little stretch. Good, lifting up, 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 hold it there. Good, there's three, there's two. And one, and then drop it down, okay? Other side, just get a little length in your hamstrings there, right? Oh, look, good morning, hamstrings. We just curled them all up, so try to lengthen them out. And down. Now with your hamstrings long, flex your feet, press through your heels, squeeze your butt, and just take that nice lift. Organize your pelvis so it's neutral. Hands can give you a little bit of stability. Hold it there for four. It's a glute set, right? Three, two, one. Drop your butt like a lead balloon and down, okay? Three more like that. Inhale. 
Exhale, I press down, lift, hold, four, three, don't let your butt go, two, one, let your butt go, let it go down, ha, ah, just two more, exhale, squeeze, fire up, my core is fired up, two, my hip extensors are fired up, three, two, one, if you want to do a little challenge with me, you don't have to, I'm going to lift my hands up when I get up there, okay, it's going to make it a lot more complicated, ah, four, three, two, now keep your butt up there, drop your hands down, tap one leg down, in, tap the other leg down, if you need to drop your butt, that's the modification, I'm going to stay strong, oh it's hard, good, four more, four, three, two, we're going to make it, last one, drop your butt down, okay, now I'm going to put, keep, I'm going to put my I don't know, left or right leg is going to be extended. The other leg is going to be curling in. My hands are going to go behind my head. It's like seeing your leg uh, stretch with the ball, okay? So I'm going to lift up, up, up. So I'm looking at my leg here, right? I'm going to exhale, curl in, and then out. Exhale, curl in, and out. So I'm just trying to maintain this position. One leg comes in, one leg is hovering in space. Three. Exhale, two. Don't let your ribs drop down. Keep your head supported. Last one. Switch to the other side, right? So it goes. Good. I'll use the exhalation as I come in. Exhalation to come in. And it's just maintaining this shape here. Good. Three more. Three. I'll give you an easy one next. Two. Very last one. Bring that down. So legs are going to go into this um, tabletop position being supported. Arms reach out. My favorite one. P uh, palms your hands facing up, take an inhale, on the exhale we'll rotate. So we can use this ball or put it aside, I, I kind of like it there. In, and then you're going to rotate to the other side. Good, nice little spine twist. Looking to the opposite direction of my twist. Inhale, exhale, nice stretch. And we'll go two more like this. Uh, I think we started on the other side, we'll go two more after this one so we get an even amount. And bring it over to this side. They, they stretch, looking into the opposite direction. And, and the next one is just a stay. Good. Putting my ball between my ankles, lifting it up, putting my hands underneath my pelvis here, keeping your pelvis neutral. Get rid of the ball if it's too much weight. If it causes any pain in your back, get rid of the ball. Exhale, we reach. You might just do a little reach, right? Inhale, come up. Exhale. If you're going down low, it's only because you've got the strength to do it. Inhale. Good. Five more like this. I'm going five. I've got a squeeze of that ball. Four. And, and not easy, right? So really focus on where your pelvis is in space. If it's arching, you're going to hurt your back. Two more. Two. In. Very last one. Good. I'm going to bring it to my hands. Right, I'm going to lift, back, and, okay, small is good, you can get rid of that ball, you can go bigger, if you want, I'm going to pick up the speed here, or you can go slower, five, exhale, four, three, or you can support your head if you need to, or get rid of the ball, two, very last one, I'm going to put the ball in my hands, take a big stretch there, Reach, flex my feet, so my toes are reaching up to the sky. Take an inhale. On the exhale, I start to look at that ball, and I roll. Ah! <laughs> Made that look easy, but it actually sometimes it helps with this ball. And down, 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 and lengthen. Good, two more like this. Inhale, nod your chin, blow out that candle. Looking at that ball, maybe it goes a little spine stretch forward. In, exhale, down. Down, down, lengthen, in, exhale, breathing up, up, up. Now I'm going to just straddle my feet a little bit and then just take a big stretch forward. Ah, <laughs> there you go. And up. One more like this, in, exhale, pressing forward, and then up. Okay, do you guys have like little hand, like tiny hand weights? Um, I'm going to grab one hand weight and I'm going to do a little movement here, okay? I'm going to grab one of these hand weights, just a three to five pounder, okay? Hopefully, yeah. Sorry if I didn't say this before. 
four here. Okay, so I'm going to use this kind of as my counterbalance. So say you have the ball on your right side. If you're doing the opposite of it, you have your left leg forward. You see, you kind of see that, right? And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring my elbow in, right? I'm going to bend the front knee, bend the back knee. So I'm in a squat lunge position, right? And then I'm going to lift. And this could be just like a chair. And we could be holding on for just a teeny bit of balance. Okay? Good. Four more. Four. And three. Good, good tricep work. Good balance. Two. Very last one. I'm going to hold it here. I know it's balanced. And I'm just going to try to do this tricep press up. Definitely pitch forward, squeezing my butt like crazy in the back. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Now, that, that arm will be straight, but your knee will bend that back there. And I'm just going to pulse. So I'm pulsing my leg and I'm pulsing my arm. My knee is bent, but my arm is straight. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring it down. Okay, so then the opposite of that is bicep curl, right? Down and up. So I'm doing the same thing with my legs that we do with triceps. There you go, you guys. Five, four, three, two. A little legs, arms, and abs, and balance. Pulse. Pulse, pulse, five, four, three, two, one. Now the only thing next I'm gonna do is just do like a single leg deadlift, right? You're gonna go down, you got that little balance, and then you lift, right? And down, and lift, and I'll go back here so you can see it better. Down, and lift, good. Three more, three. Oh, so don't hip hinge, right? We lean forward, but that leg lifts. And then the last one, if I don't fall over, and down. Okay, good. We're going to go to the other side now. Okay, so opposite leg goes to the other hand. Elbow comes in, right? We have the elbow tucked right in. This is just a little balance point here. Down and up, right? Two. So triceps. Three. You can go as heavy as you want. I have a three pound in, but I could definitely use a five pound. But I wouldn't go as heavy as like a ten, I don't think. And good. Two. And very last one. Okay, so I went down and then pitch and lift, just like I do in my bar class, too. This is kind of wobbly, so it's not a very good uh, hold, which I like that, but it's giving me less balance. So I've got to use more of my balance. And four more, four. And lift. Three. You're doing those nice squat lunges. Two. And okay, now we're going to stay, right? So notice that back leg bends. Right, so you can see the bell. And then top, butt to arm is straight. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Woo! Eight, seven. My bottom leg is really working. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Ah, bring it forward, okay? So back to our squat lunges with a bicep curl. One. Good. Exhale, two. Make sure you're kind of squeezing your glute when you come up. Three. Everybody still got it? Four, looking good, you guys. Five, Maureen is in her nice Cape Cod background there, I can see. <laughs> Two, and then just little pulses, 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 pulses. Three, two, one, and then down. Okay, so I'm gonna grab the other little weight, right? We'll just do, do some chest press outs here. Okay, so. I'm going to be, actually I should go back a little bit so I can stay on the screen. And then when I walk forward, I'm going to be like supporting my head, neck, and shoulder girdle. So you're going to keep walking forward, right? Okay, so my head isn't supported yet, so I have to keep walking forward. i got to keep walking forward so that my head is supported, right? My head, neck, and shoulders are hanging out there, and I'm lifting my hips. I'm not like this, right? So right away, this class is a lot of hip extensors, which is good for you. Good. Okay, ready? It's the opposite of sitting down. You're, it's like you have to activate your um, your glutes and your hamstrings. You're going to press up. One. And down. Two. Don't let your butt drop. Three. You could definitely grab some heavier weights. I actually really should grab heavier weights, but that's okay. I swam my mile this morning, so I'm giving myself a break. <laughs> my arms have been getting good workouts for swimming. Got five more. Five. And four. Three, two, very last one, 
hold it there, pressing out to the fly. Now don't pop your ribs, right? We're gonna keep them in. One. Exhale, two. Oh, it's a good little workout for my butt. Three. My core is really, my transverse abdominis is really fired up here too, so I don't arch. Good, four more. Four. And three. Two. Very last one. Hold it there. Last movement. We're going to plug into scissors. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Don't arch. Three. Two. Very last one. Press it forward. You can let that bum go down. That's going to feel good. Ah, and then you're going to come all the way up. Okay, then I'm just going to do this little um, external rotator work, right? So elbows. So notice my elbows and my all my uh, arms are going to stay glued to my side. I'm just going out like this. Out like that, right? So that little external rotation, right? Good. Ten more. Just small. If you grab those big weights for chest presses, grab smaller weights for these ones. Uh, they're just going out. Just going out. Five more. Five. Really simple. Four. Three, two, one. Now, as we go out, I'm gonna lift my heels up, drop them. Lift my heels up, drop them. Lift my heels up, drop them. Okay, one more like this. Four. So you're doing like a little releve on your ball. Three, two, one. Now, opposite. Lift your toes up, drop them. Lift your toes up, drop them. Good. So you should definitely be feeling your shins working on this one. Good, five, four, three, two, one. Drop these down. Okay, we're gonna do the bounce. And I usually put this in earlier, right? So we're bouncing, okay? You have your whole foot flat. Whole foot flat, good. Find a focal point, nice, strong core. Pretend you're like, if you're we're on a horseback rider or a gymnast that was doing a lot of bouncing stuff, you would be bracing your core so your back wouldn't be getting slammed right now, right? Five. At four, three, two, one. Try to do the same thing, but just be on your heels in your only contact point, right? So I've taken away a little bit of a contact point for me. It's going to make you think, okay? <laughs> I have my feet dorsi flats. Five, we're playing today. I'm, all, I'm playing every day. Three, two, one. Okay, now I'm going to be on the contact point on the balls of my feet with my heels lifted up, okay? Okay, so there's our contact point now. And I just had to organize myself a little differently. Whew, I think this one's harder than my heels. Five, four, three, two, one. Now stay up, right, on, on releve. See if you can take a one way one toe. Okay? And then I'm just gonna march opposition. But I'm staying on releve, right? Try it. Uh, five more, five. These are fun. Four, three, got a little abs going here. Two, and one. Grab the one leg and pulse it for eight, seven, six, five. Try to stay with that contact point only to that five toes, not the heel. Three, two, one. Ah, okay. Five, four. Feels like I'm walking on eggshells here. Three, two, and one. Okay, enough of that, okay? Up top here, Ooh, I'll let you guys catch up with me. I'm just taking, say this is your right leg, okay? We're gonna be doing that lunge press back and then we're gonna be going on top of the ball here, okay? So with my square hips, right, nice little quad stretch. Again, hold on is perfect. And you could even just hold like this because this is good work. Take an inhale. Now this toe, is, this knee is not gonna extend beyond the toe. I'm actually gonna be pushing back for a, for a nice quad stretch and hip stretch and then bringing it up. Good. Pressing back. Good. This is where we find that focal point. I think you guys are getting better at this. This is a hard one to do. Good. Two more like this. Two. Out. Feel that hip flexor go. Oh. Really step in. Very last one. I'm just going to hold, which is a challenge on its own. Good. I'm going to reach up and just draw your shoulders down. Energy through your fingertips. Hold it there. Three. You know when I make you hold, that's when the class gets hard. Two, one, drop it down, okay? We're gonna be doing push-ups. If you are, um, need to do push-ups on your knees, 
you put that ball right next to your belly button. Put it really close to your, to your midline here, or just hold, or you could hold into plank, right? Uh, you could hold in your elbows. Ready? Here we go. Eight, seven, it's a moving plank. Six, five, there's four, three, two, one. Hold it there. Hug your knees in, look back. Take a moment to put your other leg forward. So now you'll put your other leg forward. Hold on to that chair or anything that you need to. Good, and get up right, okay? I'll take a moment because I see people getting in place here. Okay, ah. All right, so here we go. Woo, you balanced, yes? You're gonna press back, 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 back. We'll pause, we'll hold. That knee is not going forward. And then we come up for this little quad stretch. Good, in. Actually, you're pressing back for a hip flexor stretch. Hold. And think about like the stability in your bottom foot. Now I'm trying to have it a perfect balance between my first, second, uh, third, fourth, and fifth toe in my heel. Right, like sometimes I put too much weight in my outside foot, and I think, oh, I better put more weight in my first and second toe, because I like to lift up my arch too much. And they're gonna press out, 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 hold reach, stay, find a focal point, pull your shoulder blades down, but have energy through your fingertips, three, two, you're doing like a crescent lunge with the balance, good, bring it down, you know I want you to do a second set of push-ups, here we go, <laughs> come on big girls, you got it, ready, or just hold, or put that ball right to your belly button, we're on your, ready, we're going to go, eight, it's a moving plank, seven, six, Don't let your elbows bend, stay strong in your triceps. Good, four more. Four, down, three, down, two, down. Very last one, you're gonna lift, drop it down. Let's get rid of the ball for a second. Shake out those wrists, I'm gonna just put the ball off to the side here. Shake it out, shake it out. I'm gonna give you one mat series down, um, a prone series where we're down on the ground, no ball. Okay, so here we go. All right, so I'm gonna put these up, up, up a little bit. Good. First thing you do is just, just lie on your back and hug your knees into your chest. Okay, I'm gonna give you like four to five movements, our supine series, right? Hug your knee towards your chest. Good, lengthen one leg long, and we're gonna go to single leg stretch without the ball, okay? So I have my top hip leg in, bottom leg is lifted, I've got that cup of coffee on my belly button, Hand could go behind your head. Exhale. You got it? Eight, seven, six. That's a nice start pulling. Five, four, three, two, one. Both legs to tabletop. Hands interlaced behind your head. Crisscross on the diagonal. Reach. Good. Exhale. Reach and reach. Okay, you got it? Eight. Focus on the breath. Seven, six, five. It's our hard sequence. Four, three, two, one. Extend one leg. Keep going. Ready? It's a double pulse. Top leg straight. I've given you plenty of hamstring stretches. Hand could be behind your head. Right? Eight, seven. It's a reach, reach. Six, reach, reach. Keep energy through your legs. Don't let them bend. Five. I'll let them bend in a second. Four, three, two, and one, drop your head down. I'm gonna do slow double leg stretch. So I drop my head down, I bring my toes together, my knees come apart, I'm in a diamond shape. Hopefully you can see that. My fingertips reach towards, towards you all. <laughs> Good. And inhale, lift my head up, looking at my diamond shape, extend my legs out as I take off my sombrero, flex your feet, point them externally, rotate, hold it there, I'm coming up a little bit more, Three, it's hard, we're only gonna do three more. Two, one, drop your head down, resume your shape, which is our diamond shape. 
Fingers reach. Inhale, nod your chin. On the exhale, I look at my toes, I extend them, reach my arms behind me, flex my feet, externally rotate them. If you want to come up to teaser, that's an add-on and it's hard. So you can just hold it there, down on the ground. <laughs> and, um, good. Take an inhale, nod your chin. Exhale, we extend out. Maybe your legs are a little higher, right? You reach. Flex your feet, rotate them, lift. This is an option that's hard. You could also be here if you are hamstring impaired, right? Lift two, one, and bring it down. Good. Take an inhale, nod your chin. Exhale, reach out. Flex, point, extend, hold it there, or be down. Three, two, one. I'm going to crisscross my legs. And there. Is everybody still with me? <laughs> okay. Okay. Perfect. Now, you're going to be sitting up tall, right? You're going to have your legs crisscrossed, okay? I'm going to take you into something called boomerang. If you don't like doing rollover, like this is rollover, right? If that's not for you, when you go down there on boomerang, just keep your butt on the ground, crisscross, lower down, okay? So I'm going to show you the full shebang, show you a modification for it, because I know that rollover is not for everybody. Okay, so I'm going to crisscross my ankles, right? Arms are going to be here. I'm going to do this nice little <laughs> forward and back, right? Arms are going to go down by your side. You can keep your butt right down, right there. Maybe this would be for you, Donna, or some other people. Crisscross your legs, roll down. Good, you've got to simultaneously roll up. And that would take the flexion out of your lower back, okay? I'm going to do the full boomerang, which is down, good, up, back. Switch your legs, roll down, good. Kind of travel through a teaser for a moment, and then spine stretch forward. Take an inhale so you know your modification. Exhale, press back, maybe your hips stay down on the ground. Switch, roll down, lift up maybe, and forward. I'm gonna just go one more, it's one of my favorites in. Reminds me of dancing. Back, switch, roll down, good. Lift up and then forward, and then open. Okay, so now hands are gonna be wide. Let's just set our shoulders for a second, right? From here, we're gonna set them here, and I just want you to press into the palms of your hands and look up. Let's just take a moment just to do this, right? Just kind of like, I feel my triceps really very much engaged. I'm not sinking, I would say, this is hanging out watching television, right? This is a start of control balance front. Okay, so you're not hanging out watching television, you've got energy. You can just stay there, right? If you can press into your heels and lift, fantastic. And lower down. We got four of those. Take an inhale. On the exhale, my hands are wide, they're kind of spread out there. Press, press, press. Push your shoulders down. You don't, if you keep doing this stuff like this, you're gonna get a shoulder injury. Three. I'm all about setting my shoulder. I do a lot of aggressive stuff on my shoulders, but I always am setting them and getting them in the right position. And exhale, so you got that press down. You can just hold there, lift, hold it there. Three, it's a challenging one. Two, one, drop it down. One more, one more to grow on. Take an inhale, exhale, so we press up, hold it there. Three, hold it there. Two, and one, and then down. Okay, shake it out. Okay, just like five more minutes, you guys. Shake it out. Um, I'm going to go to the wall, okay? I'm going to do the back extension on the wall. It's the best way to do back extension. Um, I like it even better than on the floor. It's one of the things that I really love about the big ball, okay? So the, the trick is having your feet supported. We've done, we've been doing this, I know. So you guys are going to grab onto something that is, uh, that gives you an anchor point back there. Now I'm just going to be flexing forward. You can see I'm doing my, if you guys want to join me, you have to sign in on that other um, code I gave you for that bar Pilates reform class. I've got it all set up there for a second, okay? And, and for 10. Okay, now I'm forward. I'm in flexion. My knees are bent. My hands are going to go right in my ears. Take an inhale. I'm, everything is loose. Exhale. I extend my legs. Press up to this beautiful extension. How beautiful is that? And then lower down. Good, take an inhale. Exhale, extend out, 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 out. Oh wow, I really gotta engage all these muscles right here. Don't over crook your neck up. Hold it there, three, two, one, and down. Good, in, exhale, we should got one more to this one. Hold, three. This is your postural exercises, two, 
One, and bring it down. Very last one. Exhale, reach really press through your heels. Hold it there. I'm going to put my hands underneath my eyebrows. Hold it there for eight. It's our grand finale. Seven, six, five. Keep your butt squeezing. Four, three, two, one. Now keep your legs long and then just drop it down. Let's just take a moment where we're just going to like go. To, now you are hanging out watching television. You're just flopping and there's no muscles. You're just hitting you just nod your chin. You just round it over the ball. It should feel good, right? I'm going to go back to pressing my legs up, squeezing, lifting. Okay, we're back to this position. Hands are underneath your eyebrows. Squeezing, take an inhale. Exhale. I'm going to rotate and look it to you. Inhale, center. Exhale, I'm going to look away. So nothing is happening to my pelvis. Rotation is coming from my cervical spine and my thoracic spine. Boy, I sound like a broken record when I say that. Exhale. And your lumbar spine really isn't designed to be very mobile. It's designed to be st stable. Exhale. In. And then drop it down. Ah, melt into that. Good. Okay, I'm going to just do one more movement. Just one. Uno mas. Okay, ready? So shake it out. Okay. And then I'm just going to press out, 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 out. Hands are going to be here. I'm going to lift. And then exhale lower. Good, with our legs straight. Round. Take a moment to rest. Lift. You could length, you could shorten your lever back to that hands right here. That should could make it easier. And lower down. Good. I cut my legs straight. Inhale, I lift. I'm lengthen. Lengthen. My hips are actually extending here. And down. Woo! I'm giving you so much hip extension. Very right, last one. Three. Two. One. Bring it in. Oh, melt down. Okay, you guys, one last little thing. I love this little side. I'm just going to do side whereas So when you look at this, because I know my ball kind of closes it, I've got the top leg in front, the back leg behind, and the back leg's kind of bent, right? So I'm going to be pushing here, okay? Because I know it's hard to see sometimes my legs. And I'm anchoring, okay? Anchoring. Maybe that top leg is bent or straight, right? I'm here. Okay, can you feel that anchor? Okay, hard for me to see you guys, but there you go. I'm just gonna go lateral flexion. Okay, really small. It's our grand finale. It's our last thing I'm gonna do. Five. Exhale, four. Giving you some ideas to do on the ball. <laughs> Two. I know Maureen is always like, I want another ball video. I'm shooting this. Very last one. Hold it there. Three, two, one. Okay, I'm going to shoot you to see the back side of me now. Here we go. So I'm going to put uh, top leg. Wait a second. What did I do? Top leg in front. Yeah, top leg in front. I get mixed up here too. Bottom leg behind. Completely side. But it's actually good to see a different views of this, right? I'm pushing into there. All right, my bottom leg is kind of at one. Exhale, two. Exhale, three. There's four. Just four more. And then we're finished. Four. Three. Two. Definitely a little waist loader there. Last one. Hold it there. Three, two, and one. Oh, voila. Good job. I'm just going to do one little grand finale finish here. You know how I like to just address you guys. I'm going to just stand up. Push that ball in front of me. Good. Rolling up on an eight count, we'll go. Rolling up, 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 up. Reach it overhead. Good, big breath. Maybe a little reach back. Good, lift. Side stretch. And side stretch. Woo, I'm hitting the mirror. One more time, inhale. Squeeze your glutes, lengthen through your spine. Up, last one. All right, you guys, thank you so much for joining me. If you do wanna come back, Make sure you got the code. Last time I think there was some confusion with people about the, about the code, which I, I don't understand what's happening, but um, okay, good. But you guys have probably had enough if you want to do that. Thank you so much.